Hello everyone. In this video, I will explain to you additional tools you can use for data exploration. They are stem and leaf and box plot. So let's continue. Now, the next thing I would like to explain to you is other tools used for data exploration. The first tools I would like to explain is stem and leaf. So stem and leaf is a tool which can help you to analyze your data. It shows the distribution of your data. However, it is only useful for small set of data. To construct stem and leaf, you divide your data set as stem and the leaf. The stem consists of the leftmost digit and the leaf is the rightmost digit. Here I give, a, I give an example taking the average night stay in 2019 from each province. We have n equals to 35, um, the number of observation, I mean. Um, so we have here the digits has two decimals. So what I do is I divide uh, the data, the first two leftmost digit as the stem and the last digit as the leaf. Um, here, uh, I did it manually, so I um, ordered the data from the smallest to the highest. And then manually, I, I just um, ordered from 1.0 as the minimum, uh, the smallest st stem and then 2.3 as the highest stem. So this is the result. And the next thing you do is just, you just plot it. 1.0, I have only eight. And 1.1, I have two, five, six, and so on. So this is the result of the stem and leaf. Um, it actually looks like a bar chart, but it is rotated, yeah? Uh, and another thing is, if bar chart you only see as sticks, as bar, here the bar has information of the data. So you have it clearly that um, the information is complete because you know the units precisely. And you can see, you can also predict the skewness, yeah? It is a positive skewed or skewed to the right where the tail are longer in the right side, yeah, in the positive um, numbers, in the higher numbers. So that's about Stenman leaf, yeah. You can see how it is distributed. You can see which um, class has the most uh, numbers. Uh, and then um, you can also predict uh, the numbers from each class. That's about stem and leaf. The next tool is box plot. Uh, it is also called as box and whisker plot. Why is it called as box and whisker plot? Because you see here the blue box is the box and this line is called as the whisker. Um, this block box plot has information about um, smallest values, the uh, numbers that are located in the first quarter, the second quarter, or the median, the third quarter, and maximum value. Another important um, information that you get from a box plot is the existence of an outlier. One important note that I would like to tell you is the whisker here, uh, this doesn't always show as the minimum value of your data, but it is just the lower limit and the upper limit of the whiskers because this shows the dispersion of the data from the median. Um, it, it is the lower limit and the upper limit may also be the maximum or the minimum, but it doesn't always be. Uh, 
if there is an existence of an outlier, like in the this we have here, it shows that this outlier is the maximum number. But because it is outside the whisker, then it is um, said to be an outlier. And from the box here, from the box here, we can see how the median is um, dispersed. Yeah, it shows that it is not in the uh, center of the box so this median is not equal to the mean um, and from the box plot you can also see how it, it is distributed you see here that the uh, tail is longer in the uh, higher values so we can say that it is a positive skewed or it is a right skewed um, the, your data is right skewed. It is right skewed distributed. So this is about box plot. Uh, the second tool, uh, two out of two tools that I would like to introduce, which you can also use to explore your data.